So this is the first video that I tried to do on Wayland and it didn't work. I lost the audio so I'm doing it again and I'm showing you what I was actually recording. So this is Wayland that you see and uh, this is the screen recorder that I'm using that did not record my audio. So but you can see that it's actually GNOME, I'm in GNOME and that is pretty important because I am now going to show you well, something pretty cool that you can only do in Wayland, even though if you are on GNOME. So the first pretty cool thing that you can do uh, is, in here I was saying like, I hope this picks up the audio, it doesn't. So let's skip that part. You can use Waydroid. Waydroid is a super cool project, which is basically Android in a box. And it has all of the Android apps you can install APKs if you manage to, some of course won't work, like stop relying on Google Play, I didn't manage to get it working. And the cool stuff that is that it, it has, it, it, it's not like it's connected to an Android device. I do usually connect an Android device and use that one through screen copy, which is a tool that I've also talked about. Now, this is actually Android running, running on the machine. And all of the things that I'm going to show you in this video are all running directly inside of GNOME. So this is the first example. And the first example, as you can see, is an Android window containing an Android app running inside of GNOME. Yeah, in here I'm showcasing all of the apps that are pre-installed by default, like the calculator, the calendar. It's pretty cool. Like when I first saw it, I was like, it just works like that. The second thing is, as you can see, KD Plasma inside of GNOME. So you're seeing KD Plasma and this is GNOME. And you can actually just run KD Plasma inside of GNOME. For the Waydroid one, if you want to try this out, you can just go to the Waydroid website and everything is explained nicely. For this one, there is a command that I will now show in the terminal if I manage to, because apparently I can't even do that properly. Please, Nicolo show it. It's this one. It's a Dboost launch thingy. Now, you do need KD Plasma installed, obviously, Kwin probably. And uh, in my setup, I actually built uh, those things. I don't know if it's necessary for those to be built or just installed on the system. I guess you can try that out. If, if it doesn't work, you need to build them. Just remember that only works on Wayland. Still, you have the window, uh, the panel is broken, but that's actually because of me, because five minutes ago before the recording, I was developing the KD panel and I actually broke it. I am, it often happens that I break the panel accidentally, but you can actually see that it is real plasma. I can even start system settings like the uh, wallpaper, wallpaper customization. I can change the theme and it will actually apply even in my KD Plasma session when I actually log in into that. I can actually open up Kickoff and I can run some application. In here, as an example, I start Dolphin, which will actually start inside of GNOME, which is pretty weird. So you have a window with KD Plasma inside of it, inside of GNOME, and then another window on top, which is actually a, a window in GNOME managed by Mutter, uh, which is Dolphin, which was launched by KD Plasma inside of a window. And you also have in here a window that's actually Android and it's running inside of Waydroid. You can actually run uh, these things standalone. In here, I do an example. I turned off Waydroid and I just launched uh, the calculator. The wrong one, because uh, thanks, Nicolo, you know how to do videos well. But now I actually launched the correct cal calculator. Waydroid uh, takes a little bit to first apply. In here, I was like going around like crazy waiting for the calculator, but here it is. You get the calculator. And uh, now it's actually just the calculator as a window. And in here you've got Dolphin as a window and KD Plasma as a window, which is pretty cool. Now, technically speaking, if you actually manage to open up console inside of the KD Plasma inside of GNOME, in the console, you could use that to try to run either another KD Plasma inside of that, which 
might not work, I haven't managed to try it, but maybe also another Wii Droid inside of the window of Kitty Plasma inside of no. You know, where is that? Like, <laughs> this is so funny. Like, I, I've got GNOME and I managed to run both Android and Kitty Plasma inside of it. Like, this is the whole video. That was it, really. Uh, I thought it was pretty funny to show that if you do have Wayland, you can actually use that to uh, do some co cool stuff with it. You've got Android and uh, Plasma Desktop. If you want to connect uh, with your phone or with your tablet, you can actually do even cooler stuff. You've got like KD Connect, but also screen copy. I've done a video about that, so you can check that out. And as always, I will do videos daily. So if you want something more interesting, well, there is another video coming up tomorrow. So make sure to watch that one too. And subscribe and like this video and all the other YouTube videos. See you.